Hi, my name is David Tregdy. I'm a creative director and motion designer, and I love title sequences. I want to explore the world of title design for Nordic Noir detective shows. If you're a fan of shows like The Chestnut Man, The Valhalla Murders, or Border Town, then you know what I'm talking about. And while the best examples of these shows are produced in Scandinavian countries, there are also some key examples from the UK, like Broadchurch and Hinterland. These dark dramas usually revolve around a detective with a troubled past or a difficult present, attempting to solve a very complex and psychologically haunting crime. A number of these shows don't actually have more than simple title cards, but I wanted to emulate the minimalistic and subtly haunting visuals often present in these shows that I find inspiring. My first step was to come up with a premise and a summary for my spec TV show. So I asked ChatGPT to make a suggestion. Knowing the story of my proposed TV show would help me create the visual boundaries I could work with in. Next, I decided to compose the icy ambient music that would set the pace for the sequence. I used heavily affected vocal instruments to add an organic human touch to the synth sound beds, and I used crashing wave sound effects with reverb and time remapping to tie the visuals and soundtrack together. If you're interested more in how I composed and produced the music, uh, let me know in the comments and I could do a whole separate video on that. Next, I went to my favorite royalty-free stock site that is totally free to use, Pexels. I started searching for drone shots of fjords and close-ups of waves on rocky beaches. Once I downloaded a set of clips I wanted to use, I imported all of my media into After Effects. I dropped my music into a 4K 24 frames per second timeline and added markers to the key beats that I wanted to edit my clips to. These would serve as the scene changes for each new credit text on screen. I arranged my clips according to the markers, adding in shorter clips to use as transitions. I time reversed these transition clips and then speed ramped the timing using the graph edit. Using ChatGPT once again, I added the names of fake actors for the series. I opted for very simple text animators here to maintain the visual minimalism, but to still give us some sort of visual interest. I made sure to add my CGI defocus preset that I use to the text clips to give the edges a slight blur and take that digital edge off. Between my video layers and text layers, I added an adjustment layer for red giant looks. I wanted a very stylized look, leaning into blue hues to emphasize the cold and dreary environment of the show. If you'd like to learn more about this effects stack, let me know in the comments. All the ingredients to the recipe are in place, so now we have our final sequence. If you watched this far, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this process video. I'd appreciate a thumbs up if you did. I plan on uh, doing these more as I continue making these spec title sequences, and if people enjoy them, I will go more in depth into the process. If you'd like to see more process videos like this or the title designs that I will make in the future, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell to get notified of the next upload. For now, enjoy the title sequence for Secrets of the Fjord.